thank God for Jesus. Uh, it is so good to um, know that we serve a wonderful, gracious God who loves us so much. And we just want to thank you for taking the time to have communion uh, with us right here uh, in the sanctuary as we think about who Christ is. Um, before we get into this communion, I'm just going to ask Bianca, uh, which I'm so blessed uh, to be my wife all these 25 years, uh, celebrating our anniversary and our, our family, what he's done. Uh, what a great day and way uh, to commemorate um, the graciousness of the Lord. So if you would pray over the bread and the juice. Let's pray. Lord, we praise you and thank you for all that you've done for us. We thank you most importantly for your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins, that we might have a real relationship with you. And Lord, now as we prepare to um, go through this communion, which symbolizes the, um, the things that you have done through your son, Jesus Christ, we ask that you would bless this bread that represents his body and that you would bless this juice that represents his blood that was shed and broken on the cross for our sins. We ask you to bless it and bless our hearts, Lord, so that we might take it in a worthy manner. We praise you and thank you for all you've done and for the sacrifices you've made. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11.23, I quote portions of it a lot because Paul the Apostle, he gets a revelation of uh, who Christ is and what communion is all about. He said, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take ye, this is my body which is broken for you. In like manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This is the cup of the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. And so as we think about this today, we're going to uh, praise the Lord for what he did on the cross of Calvary for us, that he died for us, but yet he got up on the third day with all power and glory. Jesus goes into that upper room with his disciples that just hours uh, before uh, going to the cross of Calvary for us. And there uh, he picks up a loaf of bread and the scriptures say that he broke it. And he says, this bread represents my body that's going to be broken for you. As often as we eat, let us do it in remembrance of him. Let us eat together. As the disciples are quiet now, um, and they're really contemplating, okay, this is represents his body that's going to be broken for us. He gets the goblet that would be shared amongst them. He said, this represents my blood that's going to be shed for you. As often as we drink, let's do it in remembrance of him. Let us drink together. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make us whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. As you go through your day to day, I just want you to celebrate um, that God is God alone and he is in charge. And thank him for what he's done through Jesus Christ, that we have a blessed, blessed home in glory with him for eternity. I want you to be encouraged today and just show your love for Jesus as you magnify who he is. You be blessed and we'll see you soon.